Well, email spoofing is the creation of email messages with a forged sender. The Rapids Parish School Board said that there are a few common rules to follow. Don't click on suspicious links. Don't download attachments from unknown sources. Don't respond to unsolicited emails. Don't provide personal information. Never share sensitive personal or financial information. Don't trust emails asking for urgent action. And they also say don't trust emails with poor grammar or spelling. Don't trust emails with generic greetings or salutations such as dear customer or hello user. Don't trust emails with unusual requests from known contacts. Verify the authenticity of email from known contacts if they make unusual requests. Don't engage with spam messages and don't disable spam filtering, keeping spam filtering enabled in your email account settings. So an email spoof is impersonating uh, a real email and it just impersonates you and therefore it's a spoof. You're spoofing your name, making it look like it came from you. Yeah, so to be vigilant and looking at your emails, don't just haphazardly look at those and click. Or don't be afraid to call somebody if there's a number to call. For the most part, if you're not expecting it or don't, if it doesn't look real, chances are it's not real. RPSB says by following these rules, email users can reduce their exposure to spam, phishing attempts, and other email basis threats, ultimately enhancing their cybersecurity posture.